This is the review for the third quiz, uh, difference of squares. And what we're looking for here is two things, really. First of all, there's only two terms. That's important. And they've both got to be squares as well, otherwise this wouldn't work. And difference, remember, means subtract. So if I see two terms where there's a subtract, the first thing I should look for are these squares. If they are, you should say, what squared gives you these things? Well, x squared obviously is x squared, and y squared is obviously y squared. Once you have it in that form, then you just take the two items, and you put them in twice, one with a plus, one with a minus. So for this one here, I notice this is x squared minus 2 squared. So this would be x plus 2, x minus 2. And to solve equal to 0, I'm just going to take the opposites here. So x equals negative 2, x equals 2. Number 2, x squared minus 81. Well, that's x squared minus 9 squared. So I can write this then as x plus 9 x minus 9, and then when I want to find the values that make it equal to 0, I just choose the opposite again, so negative 9 and positive 9. Now, this one's just factor, there's no equal to 0 on this one. Um, once again, we've got x squared, which is just x squared, and this time 16 has been chosen because that's 4 squared and y squared. So 4y times 4y gives me 16y squared. Once it's in this form, I can say it's x plus 4y minus 4y. This time I've got 2x times 2x gives me 4x squared. 5y times 5y is 5y squared. And as I've got the two things squared here, I can say it's 2x plus 5y, 2x minus 5y. Last question. And this one's not a perfect square, and neither is this one, but notice that both of these have a common factor of 3. Now this does work because 9 is 3 squared, so I can say this is x plus 3, x minus 3. And to find my two values equal to 0, I just do the opposites here, negative 3 and 3. Of course, 3 never equals 0, so that's not one of the solutions to this. And that should help you to be prepared for the third quiz on difference of squares.